What's good, everybody? What's going on? What's going on, world? DS1 Ross. And I'm back. Shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to y'all. I see y'all, everybody in the building. I appreciate y'all coming through. We're going to start up in a minute, man. Y'all give me a minute. I just got to finish up and do this. So um, shout out to y'all. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Share the show. We'll start in about another two minutes. Yeah, y'all. Shout out to everybody, man. We back. Right here on Sheep Stay Sleep TV. Much love. I'm not going to be before y'all long tonight. Shout out to y'all. Pardon me for being late, man. Um, I know I was supposed to start the show by 7.30. So I appreciate y'all for um falling back through. Like I said, make sure you hit the like button. Share the show. If you would like to donate before we start the show, Cash App Dollar Sign Sheep Stay Sleep TV. That's how you donate. Cash App Dollar Sign Sheep Stay Sleep TV. Also, you can hit the Stream Labs, streamlabs.com slash Sheep Stay Sleep TV. All one word. Tonight. We're going to talk about this um, Alicia Keys situation. Um, if you haven't heard, the singer, Alicia Keys, she had a little uh, quasi-meltdown on Instagram talking about how she doesn't like the fact that men don't find certain things to be um men who find certain things to be feminine she doesn't agree with it basically basically what she was um, speaking on but trying to be subliminal was she was speaking on toxic masculinity and see I told y'all that this was going to be a trend because they're pushing this new masculinity movement see I told y'all to see this is why I created this the mini series Stragalon is Fallen because they have used the Strag Tales, the Tales of a Strag, 
to basically promote this new form of masculinity. And I told y'all that y'all were going to see other celebrities jumping on this bandwagon because it gets them paid and it gets them it gets them um through certain doors because whether we know it or not you know the the LGBT movement is um they have their advocates everywhere you don't you don't know where you may be working you know um you just don't know where they may have their representatives at and they're everywhere they're in a lot of different industries but they basically run the entertainment industry they basically run the fashion industry these people run certain industries and the music industry, the industry basically that Alicia Keys got her money in is ran by those people. So because they run a lot of TV stations, a lot of that stuff. So I told y'all that y'all was going to see a lot of celebrities jumping on to this, mainly B.W. Mainly BWs. You're, you were going to see them jumping on this thing. You see Angela Yee is pushing it. Um, Keisha Cole. I mean, not Keisha Cole. K. Michelle. Now you got Alicia Keys. Where she's trying to say that her son should not feel no kind of way about his masculinity if he wants to go to the nail salon and get rainbowed nail polish on his fingernails. You saw Gabrielle Union doing it with Dwayne Wade's son and how they publicized taking him to pride and this is a boy i think i think this boy's like 10 11 years old but alicia keys is saying that and she told her son that he should not feel no kind of way <laughs> about his masculinity because he wants to wear rainbow nail polish on his nails now this boy <laughs> see this is how you know you cannot stop you can't stop what's innate now this boy told his mother that he doesn't feel right because he wants that because he feel that that is not of a boy to do or to want to do, which was which was something healthy for him to say. <laughs> but see, this is what happens when your dad is not around. And the mother has a mindset that is of the world because that boy had a little boy moment see he understands that he's a boy and that innately he's not supposed to do those things he may like the rainbow he's a little boy but he knows something inside of him is telling him that he's not supposed to put those colors on his nails. But Hego, Hego toxic femininity at the forefront. His mother comes and tells him, no, son, you are not wrong for feeling like that. And... 
But you're not wrong for feeling that way. But if you want to do it, do it. And you should inquire. You're still a boy. Don't question your masculinity because you got rainbow color fingernail polish. Look at the toxicity in that. So she agreed with him by saying, okay, son, you're not wrong for feeling like that. You're a boy. But if you do it, don't question your masculinity for it because you're still a boy. And then she goes into this other diatribe of bullshit that we going to get into. Because I'm, I'm, I'm getting tired of that too. This is why I talk about the Hotep Queens. This is why, because these, these, a lot of these, a lot of these women that subscribe to the Hotep shit, a lot of them are using that divine feminine shit as a way to sneak homosexuality through. Because now I'm starting to hear in the media, they talking about the divine feminine. But see, you like to hear people, see a lot of people like to get up here on YouTube and act like YouTube don't mean nothing in the world. Oh, you, you just a YouTuber. You know, these people are just YouTubers. But where do you think they're, they're getting a lot of their talking points and a lot of their topics to discuss in the media? They're getting it from YouTube. They're get, now this whole divine feminine shit is, is, is starting to brew. They got that from the conscious community. They got that from the conscious community. Which is all geared in being pro-black. And if you're pro-black, you're basically, um, the black woman is your God. Because you must honor the, you, you must, um, uphold and up, um, Put the black the black woman on a pedestal, basically. You must put BWs on a pedestal if you're pro-black. You're not supposed to critique them or analyze them in a critical way. And if you do that, you are operating in toxic masculinity. Because you are not in tune with your feminine side, your divine feminine which is supposed to balance you out. This is the shit that's being spewed now. Because this is the bullshit that Alicia Keys talked about. How she's trying to get her son, who's, by the way, I think he's four years old. She's trying to get a little boy to embrace his feminine side. But see, and they use these catch phrases that they that they hear from YouTube. So what you're telling me, Alicia Keys, is you're gonna get your son to embrace his feminine side. By allowing him to do what women do. That has nothing to do with the divine feminine. And the reason why I'm saying that this shit is starting to, to brew to pushing this divine feminine and using that as another talking point to attack BMs and trying to equate BMs with toxic masculinity. This is what they're doing. But she doesn't have a clue 
on what the hell the, the divine feminine is because the divine feminine has nothing to do with what you do on the outside of yourself. Something that's divine has something to do with the inner you. You see, when you hear a lot of women saying, Men need to be in touch with their feminine side. That is not you going to paint your fingernails like a goddamn tropical pack of Skittles. That is not the divine feminine. Wearing a tuxedo wedding dress is not the representation of the divine feminine. OK. That has something to do with you embracing the fact that you're you have an emotional side of yourself. Because that's that's what represents the feminine. Emotions. Understanding that there is another side of you. And those traits that you have represents the feminine aspect of you. But if you go and paint your fingernails the same color as Jolly Ranchers, you are not embracing your feminine side. What you're actually expressing is your mindset based on Something that a woman is telling you that she doesn't even understand. You see? You going and painting your fingernails don't make you understand the divine feminine aspect of yourself. That's homosexual. You see? And the boy felt it was wrong by him wanting that. And his mother is telling him that it's nothing wrong with that. See, this is why y'all this is why I said, man, y'all have to learn how to analyze what y'all looking at. This is an agenda being pushed. They're trying to replace or reinvent the masculinity of BMs. And they're using our women to recontextualize it. Once again, our women being weaponized against us. But they don't never see that part. You y'all never see the fact that y'all are being used as weapons against yourself. I don't understand how y'all don't see that this is an agenda being pushed here. This new masculinity shit. These, these celebrities are not putting this shit out in the media for nothing. Because they don't have to. They have the money and the resources to where you'll never know what's going on with their children. Why did Dwayne Wade and why did Dwayne Wade allow that story to come out with them taking their son to pride? Why did they allow that to come out? If they're not getting paid to push this agenda.
the whole thing with Angela Yee and her trying to make Gucci man look bad. What she's pushing with her with this whole Gucci man shit is her pushing the fact that Gucci is a toxic masculine man. By her playing victim. That's that's underlying pushing that. That's what she's doing. She's she's this is what she's doing. Y'all don't see that? This is what she's doing. Look at what she said in the TI situation. She said that his daughter should be able to do what she wanna do. And she shouldn't have to tell her father about it because that's her business because she has a vagina. This is an agenda that's being pushed. Now you got Alicia Keys telling her son that it's okay for him to walk around with rainbow colored nails and that she'll take him to the nail salon with her and get it done and don't feel no kind of way about it. You're still a boy. This is what's being promoted. This is what's being pushed. This is sad, man. Because the new masculinity is going, is they want BMs to be docile creatures. They want us to be totally mentally compromised. They want our masculinity turned all the way down. This is what they want. We got to turn their masculine down. And the way we do it is we shame them and we get celebrities. We use celebrities to do it. See, this is a social. This is what we call social engineering. But see, when BMs talk about this, we, we're made to look like we're exaggerating some shit. But this is what social engineering is. This is what they this is what they use social media for. To socially engineer the, the next upcoming generations. Who will you think they're going to use to socialize the next few generations? Our goddamn celebrities. The same ones we hold in high esteem. They're going to use these people to push their agenda. And they're going to put money behind it. And this is what they're doing. You think these celebrities that are pushing this lifestyle? This life, this new lifestyle that they want people to live. You think they're, they're, they're doing this shit for free? I told y'all before. Celebrities are billboards. They are walking promotional tools. That's what they are. This is why they can go places and eat for free. Because they're going to bring business just by their presence. You can use them to promote yourself. You can use them to push your agenda. What the hell do you think is going on here? With all of this toxic masculinity talk. Where do you, but where do you think the conversation originated from? Right here on YouTube. It started right here.
It started right here. But if you notice, if you notice, and this is how you know this is an agenda that's being pushed against, against all men. Against all men. But you know they got to put our stuff at the forefront. Why these same BWs that love talking about toxic masculinity, why they're not talking about that woman who just dragged her son out to school and threatened and threatened to beat his ass in the school in front of the teachers? That's not toxic femininity. I.E. stragism. How many times you saw that growing up? I know I did. Growing up in the 90s. Dudes moms would come right up to the school and jack them up in the school and embarrass them. That's not toxic femininity. Why y'all not talking about that? And how the school called child protective services on her. And I think they're going to take her children. And she need her children taken away from her because she's a toxic woman. Y'all go back and, and, and watch that video and listen to how she talking to her son. Why y'all strags are not talking about you fe y'all fellow strags? Because that's what toxic femininity is. Stragism. Why y'all not talking about that? Huh, Alicia Keys? Why you not talking about that woman who dragged her son out of school like that and threatened him and listened to how she was talking to him? Why y'all not advocating against those types of people? But y'all got something against with traditional masculinity. And what kills me is, is these women who are talking this toxic masculinity shit, they're in relationships or were in relationships with other celebrity men who, who exude those same qualities that they call toxic. And that is the reason why you like these dudes. Come on. Your, your, your top A-list celebrity, they exude cockiness, chauvinism. They exude this shit. Now with all of a sudden it's toxic. When they exude these qualities to get people to like them. People like the smooth, cocky dude that drives a nice car. Women love those kind of men. Now, all of a sudden, these men are toxic. These men are now. Now it's 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 toxic to do that. K. Michelle was in love with Idris Elba. Why? Why? Because he exudes certain qualities that now she deems to be toxic. You know, you could look at Swiss Beats and tell he's a cocky dude. But you want your four year old son to understand his feminine side now. Why don't you allow him to grow up and be a boy? Allow the boy to be a boy first. Allow him to do masculine shit. He's going to run around and break things. He's going to little he's going to be a little out of control. But now him wanting to be a boy and feeling like a boy is toxic he needs to be in tune with his divine feminine 
You know who I, you know who else I heard say that shit? Charlemagne the God. This is why I said this is something that's brewing. This divine feminine talk. So a four year old needs to understand his divine feminine. Y'all don't see what's going on here? Y'all don't see what's going on here? And like I said, out this same, out this same mouth, when some shit happens to a BW that makes the news and that's a big story, the first thing that come out they mouth is where was the BMs? Where's the strong, where's the strong BMs at? The BMs are not protecting, but you're making a little four-year-old BM. He's going to grow up to be a BM. He's going to grow up and be a man. But you're training this boy to like to get his nails colored the same color as yours. And you're telling me that when he becomes a grown man, he's going to stand up and defend your honor? A wrist flicker? Y'all not raising soldiers no more. See, that's a thing of the past. See, now they want their girls to be soldiers. See, y'all don't, don't see the okie doke here. This is why they're socializing the women to be masculine. This is why they don't have a problem with stragism and toxic femininity. They don't have a problem with seeing that woman Treating her son that way because she got to be a strong BW. She got to be strong. She got to be militant. She got to be vigilant. Everything that used to be said about BMs and what we needed to be. Now, we should know how to be submissive. Now, we need to know when to quit and when we lost. Now, we need to shut up and comply. Y'all don't see what's going on here? Y'all don't see the agenda yet. That y'all saying is just on YouTube. Y'all not seeing the gynocracy at work? She, Alicia Keys is turning her son into a maggle. It's okay, baby. Mommy still love you even though your nails look like citrus punch Kool-Aid. You know, mommy still love you and you're you're still a strong boy. Yay! You're still mommy's big boy. Yay! Y'all don't see what's going on here? Don't think you can't be a maggle because you got money. Money ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a lot of rich maggles running around. Oh, I want to, uh, 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 I, I got to give all of this to my mother. If it, you know, all of this was done by my mother and Jesus. That's what you hear a lot of these rich maggles saying. His mama and Jesus. 
We don't even thank his goddamn self. His mama and Jesus. But this is what Alicia Keys is doing, y'all. What happened to what happened to um I want a soldier? What happened to that? You don't even hear, you don't even you don't even hear most BWs even say that no more. Remember, y'all remember that's one of um Destiny's Child biggest hits. That was when Beyonce first started messing with Jay. Because she was talking about Jay-Z in the song. You, you don't even... Where's them songs being made at? All the songs you hear women make now, these celebrities, they want maggles. That's what thugs are. That's what the so-called thug is, a maggle. They want some out of control dude that's just stupid and, and, and reckless. And always coming back, crawling to them. A maggle. They don't want soldiers no more. That's not, that's not the programming anymore you see so they're not the 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 women are not engineered to say that that's what they want anymore pay attention it's always in the music the programming is in the music it's on the internet, social media. It's for social engineering. Okay? Understand what this shit is about. And see, a lot of y'all don't understand what it's about. This is why y'all looking at this and y'all can't really see what's going on. See, the only way you're going to really understand what really goes on in the system is, first of all, you got to stop believing in the shit. You see, you got to take the blindfold off. But this is an agenda that's being pushed. And they're using BWs to promote this shit. They're using the celebrities. And they're using the BMs to put on to put it on showcase to showcase it. This is why you see Pharrell on a new on, a, on that GQ magazine. This is why you see him on the new cover. <laughs> they're showcasing what they've created. The people who wrote the program is using us to showcase it to the world like they've always done to us. <laughs> y'all still don't get it? Hollywood and all of this, this shit is a museum to them. Just like back in the day. <laughs> They're showcasing their inventions. Look at the movie Get Out. 
when they had them people up there auctioning people. I want his eyes. I want her. I want her hair. Give me his mouth. This is what you see. They showcasing their invention. Y'all don't y'all don't get it yet. Y'all don't get it yet. Y'all, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. Y'all gotta begin to critically think. But I know it's going to be hard for a lot of y'all because a lot of y'all are still in this fantasy way of thinking. But this is what's going on. This shit is for real. See, I don't have to worry about and people in my generation, we don't have to worry about us being socially engineered. By this new masculinity stuff. Because see we are already programmed. Into becoming what they wanted us to become already. We've already made the moves that they. That they wanted us to make already. You see our program. Came from years before we were grown up. See we were programmed. With the shit that came from the 80s. That's why a lot of dudes that's in my age range. Growing up they, they wanted to be pimps. They wanted to be big time drug dealers. And, and infamous gangsters. You see. And then the, the programming that came after that was. What you starting to see today with this whole internet shit. See, we started with the internet shit first. It started with us being on AOL and being on instant messenger on AOL, Yahoo chat rooms. That shit started with us. MySpace, Black Planet. That was a form of what? Social media. That was us. We came at the tail end of that shit. And now they're using Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat and all of these filters and all of this shit to engineer the next 30, 40 years for what's going to be going on then. I guarantee you, if I'm alive in the next 30 to 40 years, we're going to see little boys, eight, nine years old, walking around in full gear. Nails done, front tools, all of that. Little boys. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. You're going to see it. This is why they make sure certain shit is on social media. Because you think they can't block these videos? You seeing these videos of these, of these BWs with their little sons walking around like they pageant girls. Where do you think that come from? Why do you think they're a lot? You think that they don't control the internet? The, inter the interface that they have for us to use as the internet is something that they can control. So a lot of the videos and the shit that we see, they allow it to be seen. And if they're allowing it to be seen, it's for a reason. Y'all have to understand that. They can't.
can snatch shit down. They can make sure certain shit doesn't go around or be seen by anyone. But that's all Alicia Keys was basically talking about in her little quasi rant. She was ranting about toxic masculinity. Because her son questioned his masculinity for wanting to put rainbow colored nail polish on his fingers. And she told him that it was okay. And I wouldn't be surprised if if Swiss didn't have an issue with it. Wouldn't be surprised. Because if you believe money don't change people, you a goddamn fool. Money going to change you in some form or fashion. If anybody right now is given a chance to have six figures in their life, just six, let's just say, let's just say you making, let's just say you, you making a million dollars a year and you was just making 40,000. Oh, you going to change. The way you look at the world is going to change. The way you look at other people is going to change. Don't let people tell you, oh, man, money ain't going to change me. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. What you should say is money's not going to change the way you overall treat people. Because that's a difference. But money is going to change you. Especially if you got a, especially if you see some money you never saw before. If you go from making 30 grand a year to making a million, oh, your ass going to change. Believe that. So I'm not surprised at, at none of these um, celebrities. I'm not surprised. I'm not. That, that they would agree with that shit and I'm not surprised. Because they're at that they're at that echelon in life. They look at life totally different from us guys down here at the bottom. We don't look at life the way they do. Because we're not awarded certain luxuries. You see? We're not exposed to certain things that they are. They're exposed to certain shit. And a lot of them, a lot of our black celebrities, they really don't want their children in a society with other low level thinking individuals. They don't want their children in an environment or around people with a certain mindset. So they will allow their children to go and to be around a diverse group of other children because they feel like in that environment, their child is safe. See, y'all got to understand that, man. It's different air up there. They're not breathing the same air we're breathing. Overall, of course. Of course, but I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the lifestyle we're living. When I say we're not breathing the same air. Whole different lifestyle.
and the money and the connections that they have made have granted them this and they want it to stay this way. So they're going to promote those people's agenda. And right now, let's push new masculinity. New masculinity is what we need pushed. We need to reshape the mindset of men, the upcoming men in society. This is what they're doing. This is why they have men questioning what masculinity is now. This is what they're doing. So now every time you do something, you can question whether it was masculine, was it truly masculine, or was it some toxic masculine shit? And the sad part is, a lot of women are for this shit. And we talk about women across all races. They're in favor for this shit. Because most, most women are women first. They're women first. You see? Y'all got to understand what y'all dealing with, man. So shout out to everybody that's in the building. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Streamlabs donation links is in the chat room. You also like to donate through Cash App, Dollar Sign, Sheep Stay Sleep TV. Dollar Sign, Sheep Stay Sleep TV, man. Y'all go ahead and hit them donation links. Shout out to everybody that's in the building. But that's basically what Alicia Keys was, you know, um, ranting about. And the shit is sad, man. You won't even allow the boy to be a goddamn boy. What is wrong with him naturally feeling like that is wrong? And she said it. She said that her son told her that he felt like by him being a boy that he shouldn't have those colors on his nails. He didn't say, well, you know, mommy, daddy told me I can't get my nails painted. He didn't say that. He said that this is how he feels. And she wants him to go against his nature, his masculine nature, to fit an agenda that's being pushed for money. You see that shit? But nobody finds anything wrong with this. She she's allowing her son to go against his nature to push an agenda. That's going to later on turn around and, in, and affect him because he's going to grow up and be a man. Why is he questioning his his masculinity at this age? And why would you tell him to downplay his own his own thoughts and feelings about himself? What type of mother is that?
But oh yeah, it's you know with with the with the surge of social media, now you got new parent, new parenting. I'm starting to hear that shit a lot too. You know, well, we're new parents. I'm starting to hear that too now. New parenting. Actually, when I made the post on my page about the whole T.I. shit, which made me, you know, do the shows that I did about that. One of the women who was on the post was talking about that. That she's a new parent. She's into some new parenting shit. Where she doesn't raise her children the way she was raised. What the fuck is that? Everybody from every generation should find a better way to parent their children. Or you just parenting the way you want to parent. What the hell is new parenting? Isn't it new parenting every generation that has a child? What is this bullshit that's that people are trying to push here? New parenting. What the hell is that? So 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 what Alicia Keys is doing is we we going to call that new parenting. Oh, she's a new parent. So being a new new parenting is is better. Is that what y'all saying? Just like new masculinity is better than old masculinity. So anything old is toxic and we need to get rid of it. So is is that what y'all saying? But that makes no fucking sense because y'all still love your grandmothers if they're still alive. Y'all still love your goddamn grandparents. How you talking all this, this, this old shit is toxic, but you love your great grandfather who represented old masculinity. You loved your grandmother. But she is what we will call a old feminine woman. Because all older, all the older generation did was stay at home and cook and clean. But you love to eat grandma peach cobbler. But something was wrong with their parenting. But you still take your motherfucking ass over there and eat grandma stuffing on Thanksgiving. You get mad if grandma don't cook for Thanksgiving. You get mad, don't you? When grandma ain't cooking. But you talking this, this, this new shit. But you want grandma collard greens. But you talking this, oh, oh, this, oh, all the old stuff is, you know, that's toxic. You know, the way we were raised and, you know, th that was toxic. Get out of here with that bullshit. Get out of here with that bullshit. New masculinity. New parenting. What What is this? But then these same these same women love the old men in their family. But but I get up on YouTube and talk about toxic masculinity. You sit up here and 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 and, and talk about how the the oh the, the the men of then you know they they didn't finish school and all that shit. But grandpa always made sure when he saw you, he stuck a couple dollars in your pocket. The same, you know, the same, the same dude that can't read. You know, but he's a master builder and, a, and he could count. You know him. You know, the old toxic man. 
You know the man that you used to see tell your grandmama to go sit her nagging ass down somewhere. But now, 30 years later, y'all saying that that's toxic. But when you was a kid and you used to see your grandfather tell your grandmama that, she nagging him because he won't stop leaving the house, even though she know that that's how he make his money. Now it's toxic. A man can't tell you to go sit your nagging ass down somewhere, but you used to watch your grandfather tell your grandmama that. And you loved the hell out your grandfather, didn't you? You loved Papa, didn't you? You love Big Papa, didn't you? But now the ways of your grandfather, the ways of your great uncles, that's all toxic now. And y'all are letting women promote this shit. Y'all allowing this shit to be pushed. But then a turn around and say, I loved my grandfather. He was such, he was a real man. But then turn around and say, a, a man that represents those same qualities today is a toxic man. <laughs> God damn, boy. Mm, 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 mm. God damn. Sad. This is sad, man. This is sad. Mm. But shout out to y'all, man. I'm going to read some of y'all comments. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button for me. Donate to the show. Cash app. Dollar sign. Sheep stay sleep TV. I'm going to read some of y'all comments, man. Shout out to y'all, man. What's up, Kendra? What's going on? Xander, what's going on? Tony Smith, what's good, man? Mr. Sutton, what's good, bro? He said a lot of these celebrities are going to push this agenda because a lot of people that sign their paychecks are part of that community. Exactly. Exactly. Xander said new parenting equals pandering. Um, parent, parenting not necessarily not necessarily because new parenting is is a, is a mindset Xander it has nothing to do with color we're talking about mindsets here mindset supersedes um complexion and all that shit sweet Jones what's going on man <laughs> Sweet Jones said again that was two years ago She been on this She wants that boy nail in the paint Yeah that's that's crazy That's That's crazy that's crazy. I didn't know she said that, Sweet Jones. It's nothing. But see, but but see, but see, that's what's crazy. Look at look at that. Don't don't cry. Don't be soft. Let a boy be able to dance, she says. What makes a boy? I grew up dancing. What 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 that that don't have nothing to do with feminine being feminine? A boy knowing how to dance? What What the hell is that? Let a boy paint his nails so a boy want to paint his nails. Who cares? Psh, sad. She was talking about that shit two years ago, huh? You Because these people, these people feel like if they put their children in that type of environment... That their children are safe, man. 
Soul Shader, what's good? That's what it is. They think that their children are going to be safe in that type of environment. Go Hard Black, what's good? Jack Tripper, what's going on? What up? What up, um, Omega? Definitely experimental. It's all a, it's all an experiment. Kendra said, but you got these knuckleheads around here saying the gynocracy is only a concept on YouTube. Yet we see it in society. I hate when people are willfully ignorant. Exactly. But but you know that is that is um that is a qualification of a strag. You can't qualify to be a strag or a maggle if if you're not um willfully ignorant. That's what qualifies a strag. Her will her her willing her willingful ignorance. You said Charlemagne wears too much eyeliner. Well, you know, you know them guys, man. You know, um, Envy and Charlemagne. You know them guys are kind of moist anyway. You know, they sit there and 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 um, you know, play little moist jokes with each other. So you already know what it is with them guys. Albert, what up, bro? Cats, what's going on? She said Alicia Keys been goofy. She needs to stick to playing the piano and shut up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. James Kills, what's good, man? Yeah, I agree with that, Cats. I, I haven't really I haven't really liked Alicia Keys music since her second album. Yeah. I agree. No, like her, her third album. It was like her third album. Her 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 new shit is um I, I don't really I don't really like it either. BJ was good, Alicia no keys. <laughs> but yeah, man, that you know, she's she she tripping, man. But like I said, man, I I see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? They they using these celebrities, you know, to push this agenda. And that's just what it is, man. And and that's what's always been going on. You know, it's it's just that a lot of us didn't see that. But Come on, man. It's in our face, man. It's in our face because they know if they use celebrities, it's easier for people to accept it. You see what I'm saying? That's like when, um, for instance, that's like when Kevin Gates said that he liked to eat ass. Now you had a bunch of dudes running around promoting ass eating. Because they understand how it works. Social programming. You you put a celebrity up there and you use him to do your bidding. Why do you think Jay-Z rock with a lot of politicians and all of that type of shit? Come on, man. It's the same thing. They're nothing but people. They're nothing but mouthpieces of the people who's pushing and writing the agenda what do you think celebrities are what do you think they are man how do you think the the, the music business makes every every other industry so much money because they're using the music business to promote everything else if it wasn't for the music business a lot of shit won't won't survive now. Cardi B is is the hot is the hottest artist in the world currently. One of the hottest. Why? 
because she came from what? Love and hip hop. She came from a show that has been popularized through social media. Social media is what keeps them making season after season. There's people on YouTube with millions of subscribers. They just get up there and talk about what happened on the latest episode of Love and Hip Hop. Then it's talked about in the music. This is what's keeping a lot of industries alive, man. That's why they keep these shits going. That's what this shit is, man. Y'all gotta understand what y'all which I which I see and why y'all see it in this way. Cause it's real. <laughs> Ain't that some shit, bro? Ain't that some shit? I got to understand what's going on, man. Social engineering, social programming, that's something that's real. That's alive and living, man. For real. So, I appreciate y'all coming through. Much love. Make sure you hit the like button. I appreciate y'all coming through tonight. Um, I will be back tomorrow with another show. Um, if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit the donation links. The links is in the chat room. Streamlab links is in the chat room. Go ahead and hit that up. Cash app, dollar sign, sheep stay sleep TV. Cash app, dollar sign, sheep stay sleep TV. And um, shout out to my man Haven too, man. Shout out to my man Haven from yesterday. Y'all go ahead and y'all check that stream out. I did my man Haven Bullets last night, man. He was going in on the whole ADOS movement. Um, the FBA movement um, that Tariq Nasheed has started. Um, Y'all go and check that stream out and um, leave a comment under um, the pinned comment that I left. If y'all want me to do a part two to the part two that I did last night with Haven, just um, leave your answers um, in the comment section under that stream. But shout out to y'all for tuning in tonight. Much love. I appreciate the love and the support. Thanks for rocking with your host, DS1 Ross of Sheep Stay Sleep TV. And remember, y'all, we got to heal before we build. We got to heal before we build, man. If um we don't really begin to analyze and to understand what we dealing with out here, what we seeing, we're, we're, we're never going to get a chance to, to, to build, man. Because you 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 can't build something and 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 you know like Kendra said be um willfully ignorant man you can't you can't act like something is not there that's there because that's basically you ignoring what's real so shout out to y'all man thanks for tuning in I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one y'all have a good night peace.